Hello students at West Fargo High School in North Dakota. I just got a little message from someone in your school who asked me to make a short video explaining why I'm vegan. So first of all, I think that you should all be very proud of the vegan classmates that you have. They are ethical individuals who care deeply about the animals. And so I hope that you will treat them well and not be vegan phobic, but instead be vegan fantastic. So somebody who is vegan phobic is somebody who is cruel to animal rights activists. Often they're jealous of them or they just feel frustrated because they are people who are telling them to stop hurting animals and nobody really likes to be told what to do. But animal rights activists are really in it for the right reasons. They know about the suffering and it breaks their hearts. So I was asked to say a few words about why I'm vegan. And I'm vegan because of the same reason that you don't want anybody to hurt cats or dogs. You wouldn't want anybody to kick them, punch them, stab them. Your heart would go out to them. And if you happen to not like animals or understand animals or have been close to animals in your life, then picture a small child. Because we vegans, we see animals and children as being similar. That is to say, although they do have their differences, they are all in need of protection. Now I could not bear the thought of anyone hurting a child or a cat or a dog, but it's the same thing for all animals chickens, cows, pigs, turkeys, lambs. No animals should be harmed just for our taste pleasure. If somebody said to you that they liked seeing animals suffer, you would think they were crazy. Or if somebody said to you that they liked hearing animals suffer, their screams, you would think they were crazy. But here's your sight, and here's your hearing, and here's your taste pleasure. What's the difference? You can so easily choose other things, and being vegan is not expensive, and it feels great. It really does feels good to try to undo the harm that we've done in the past. Now, I don't know how old you guys are, high school. I'm here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and high school actually is from grade seven to grade 11. But I have a feeling that you guys over there have high school grade nine or something like that, I guess. Probably you're 15, 16, uh, maybe 14. Um, but I just want to say that no matter what your age, you can be vegan because you were actually born vegan. You never wanted to hurt animals. Not when you were little. You wanted to play with them, cuddle up to them, pet them. Right? I mean, picture it right now. Imagine there was a little yellow baby chick that just suddenly appeared in the classroom every single one of you would be drawn to that baby chick, looking at him in complete awe. And everyone would say, oh my God, he's so cute. And everybody would wanna hold him. But would you ever put him in the kitchen blender and turn it on? If you would ever do that, then there's something wrong with you. And you all know it, that it is in our instinct to protect animals. But every time you eat eggs, you are paying for that kind of a cycle of violence because that's what they do in the egg industry. Because the males are not able to lay eggs, they're considered to be useless. So they grind them up or they put them in these giant bags, plastic bags piled on top of their brothers. They tie a knot and they die a slow, painful death from the weight above them and from lack of oxygen. It's absolutely heartbreaking what our society does to animals. 
And when it comes to dairy, the reason that you shouldn't be drinking cow's milk is similar. You just don't want to hurt the cows. You don't think that rape is okay, do you? Forcefully touching somebody inappropriately? We all know that's not okay. And yet that's what happens in the dairy industry. People touch the cows inappropriately to get their sperm, pin down the mothers, force them to be pregnant. When the babies are born, if they're boys, they're also considered to be useless because they'll never be able to give milk. They steal these babies from their mothers. It's kidnapping so that humans can go underneath the mothers and steal the milk that was meant for their baby. It's heartbreaking to me. And that's why I became vegan. Now I'm 58 right now. I have three adult children and a granddaughter. And I just really desperately want to undo the harm that I did. When they were little, my kids, I, like most of your parents, fed my children dead animals on a spoon. I just didn't know better. Then I found out what was happening. I became vegetarian, but that's not good enough. Vegetarian simply means you don't eat meat, but you still pay for the cycles of violence in the dairy industry and in the egg industry. So don't ever stop there. Don't say I'm vegetarian and that's good enough because it's not even the beginning. You must be fully vegan to be an ethical person. You were born vegan. You just have to go back to your roots. And if you are in a family where somebody is trying to be vegan, please give them a big hug. Same as Katie says that I should hug you. Be proud of the vegans in your life. And be proud of your future self. Because you'll get there. It takes a hundred clicks to become vegan. Got to get the message into your head and into your heart. Once you get it into both of these parts, you're well on your way. You can do it. And that will be your happy vegan declaration day. That's the day where you declare from now on, I don't want to hurt them again ever. So if that's today, get yourself a little post-it note and write on it. Happy vegan declaration day. Write your name. Big exclamation point. Big heart. And write the date. Put on the fridge or somewhere. It helps to remind you how many days you've been vegan, how many weeks you've been vegan, how many months, and how many years. And it also reminds people around you that you're vegan. If you have a sign somewhere. You know, I have it written sometimes on t-shirts. just says, my vegan declaration day was. And mine personally was June 27th, uh, 2006. So anyway, I have to go now. But I just want to say a quick hello and to remind you that if you need any inspiration, you can follow me, That Vegan Teacher, on YouTube. And yeah, you're going to Google my name and see all kinds of crazy lies and really some sad things because people splice videos together and make it seem like I'm a terrible person because the meat, dairy, and egg industries want to keep selling their products. So I'm a threat to them. But you guys are smart enough to know the difference. And yeah, in some videos, you'll, you'll see me being silly because... I'm just really desperate to try to get the message out there. So I've tried all kinds of different things over the years, you know, sort of exaggerating. And then sometimes I've even allowed myself to be vulnerable and cried. You know, I don't know if that was the best decision because people can really make fun of you if you cry on camera, but I did it and I, I probably will do it again because I don't want to be fake, you know? I want to be a good person and I want to be real. And I want to be the kind of person that if you met me in real life, you'd say, yeah, she's exactly like her videos. Anyway, thanks a lot for being here. And come on over to my channel, my YouTube channel, and see me there. And you can also find me on Instagram, that vegan teacher, Miss Katie, all one word. And Katie is spelled K-A-D-I-E. Take care. Bye for now. Oh. And if the teacher's watching this, please give your students an A+. Plus.
because I really think they deserve it. Take care.